The liquid system function test is started with the high level test. If the high level test is not reached within 4 minutes, check the pressure of the sample supply line. Check tube 6 if sample flows into the waste. Maintenance on valve 1 needs to be performed. Check the air pump. Continue with second test fill loop. Standard flow is ok if air bubbles are formed in the standard bottle. If there are no bubbles visible in the standard bottle, Wait until fill loop is active, then close the pressure compensation tube and squeeze the bottle. This way the tube is filled with standard solution. If necessary, perform maintenance on valve 2 or 3. Next test to perform is mix. Observe the millivolt value. It must reach the maximum within 30 seconds and reach a stable value after 5 minutes. If the values are not stable after 5 minutes, check tube 2. If there are air bubbles in the tube, it has to be vented. If the millivolt value increases, standard solution is leaking into the measuring cell. Valve 3 needs maintenance. If the millivolt value decreases, sample is leaking into the measuring cell. Valve 2 needs maintenance. To test valve number 5, the regeneration has to be started manually. The regeneration solution passes valve 5 before it reaches the flow cell. The conductivity value must rise higher than 2000 micro siemens. If the value does not reach 2000 micro siemens, check if the regeneration bottle contains regeneration agent. Check if there are air bubbles trapped in tube 13. Wait until regenerate is active, then close the pressure compensation tube and squeeze the bottle. This way the tube is filled with regeneration agent. If necessary, perform maintenance on valve 5. Check the position of the conductivity sensor. If it is necessary, align the sensor according to the manual. Check tube 13. If there are any kinks, replace the tube.
With this test, the control of valve 4 by a conductivity sensor is tested. Check following. Conductivity. The values of the control. If this value remains on 100%, the deeper bottle is not connected or the connection is not sealed. Check tube 8 and tube 11 for leaks. Check the air pump. Check valve 4. If valve 4 has switched, the air bubble stream must be stopped for about one second and deeper vapor bubbles are formed at the deeper vapor inlet. Check the position of the conductivity sensor. If it is necessary, align the sensor according to the manual.